I've just got off the train at Blackpool and we are going somewhere where I wanted to go before to Fleetwood. So come and join me. I've got a few adventures around Fleetwood which will be interesting. Look at that building up there. Was that an old theatre years ago? It's closed down now. <laughs> Well, welcome to Random and Desperate. Now today we're having a look round Fleetwood itself and we're actually at the High Street at the moment. We've just come off the tram from Blackpool and we're going to see what interesting thing we can find round the streets of Fleetwood. Now we are going to get a fish and chip. That's one thing I definitely want to try the fish and chips. So I'm going to go ask the locals where the best fish and chips because you do not whatever you do when you're looking for fish and chips you don't go to the front or the pier around the area it's it's usually the hidden gems around the back streets of places but don't worry we will find it I'm also going to do a few trips around there and a few blogs one of them is in not going to not end by the ferry if we can there's a museum and a market plus I'm going to stop in a beautiful Victorian hotel in the center of Fleetwood which has a lot of history and a lot and a scary tale at the end a ghost story but I will do that when I do the blog of the hotel Hi pal. Hi. You alright? Yeah. Do you live round here? Uh, yeah. It's nice round here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I said I'm doing a I'm doing a new two blog round the streets of uh, Fleetwood. I always try and go yeah. not not to the front, but always round it. Oh, do you know the backs? Yeah. Yeah. No. So, nice to see you anyway. Oh, to the left there's an old church. Is, is it St Peter's Church of Fleetwood? over there now most of these shops are taken up by well-known chains like you've got one shop but there is some independence quite a lot of independent old world school shops yes. look at this farmer bank you can always say it's the farmer bank with the decor but look at that structure but look at the state of it now look at the state Completely empty. Absolutely completely empty. It's a shame really. All the history. What what this place, what this farmer bank, whichever it was. The history what's been lost. Absolute shame. But like any banks around the UK or the world now they're disappearing to the dreaded internet. But there's nothing like personal service where you can go in a shop and let's just say go make a transfer or talk to a living person about your financial situation like this one here another farmer bank now turned into a funeral directors shame So I've only walked a few hundred metres and I found three banks that have disappeared from existence. Mm. Fleetwood Market's up there, but it's not open today, but I am going to do a separate video about Fleetwood Market. It's a famous market. And we're going to go around Fleet, Fleetwood Market at some point in our journey. Because I think there's around about 200 stalls. What we'll do now, we're going to head towards the front where all the tourists go. Yeah, okay. And we'll see what any history, anything unique or special, something what we can talk about. What I'm shocked most of all 
is where is everybody? There's no one around it. This is the high street of Fleetwood, but there's nobody here. A set of two people, trams going in and out. Where is everybody? Is this the sign of the times? Maybe. Like if you look just past that tram, look at the top of the building, them bay windows, absolutely massive there, bay windows there. And even when that blue building in which you, looks like an old solicitor's with a, with a great big blue door. And look at the top, how they finished it off to make that extra bit special. Look at it now, gone. Where is everybody? Where's everybody gone? I can't even talk to anybody. <laughs> Shame. I say it's such a shame, I've just talked to a few locals and they've just told me there's a great fish and ship shop hidden on the main high street. So I'm, I am going to venture that fish and chip shop and do a, and do a separate video around eating great British fish and chips. Yes, at the end. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't get that on film. Dead disappointed because they just press a button on the top, you press it wrong, it goes to take a picture mode, it doesn't work. <sighs> What's happened to the place? It's just like another part of Blackpool, isn't it really? It's a shame. A great fishing village like this. Where's everybody? This is supposed to be a listed building. But look at, this, look at the state of it. It's not been cared for for years. It looks quite posh in its day. Old sink there. What's that, 30 sink? The old red doors. Houses now. Hi, <laughs> right, pal, what, what this used to be? I'm trying to figure it out. It's a listed building. I don't know, mate. Oh, right. I can tell you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so sorry, it's a listed building. I'm just yeah. trying to figure out what it is. Thanks. Even the locals don't know. Mm, I'm not going to get to not end, I don't think. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm trying to get to not end. I have no idea. Oh, All right. right. Alright. <laughs> so I've just done all, I've just looked round here, there's nothing here is there? Yeah, there's no are. people. <laughs> I think they're like shops not close for lunchtime to be honest. Look lunchtime? Yeah, I think oh, they do. Right, okay. I know, I know the market's open tomorrow, there's a museum down there. Oh, okay. but, uh, that's where I'm stopping over there for that hotel. Oh. Alright, thanks a lot anyway. Okay. Thank you. See you, bye. Oh, Every, everywhere, <laughs> everywhere is closed. Have I come at the wrong day or something? Is it like Mondays, everything closes, or it's a special day? It's not a, definitely not a bank holiday, but if it was, this place would be absolutely, absolutely booming. And it's not a bad day, to be honest with you, but everything's closed. <sighs> Unless I'm missing something here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's a ferry to Not End, and if you just see the boat just over there, there's the boat. Hold on. The idea was is to go on the ferry to cross over to that, to over there where that nice modern building is. But it looks like I'm not going to be able to on this journey. 
and I say everything's closed nothing seems to be and yes there is some ferry times but they're only for a few hours put it that way hmm. right I wonder where the pubs are <laughs> you can imagine years all the boats coming up here is that a toilet over there? What's been like anything else is gone. In loving memory of men that were taken in the Morecambe Bay helicopter disaster just after Christmas 2006. Certainly pretty. Certainly pretty little uh, little boy there playing with his mum or his sister, can't see the age. <laughs> Certainly pretty. See what I like going places like this. You take a deep breath, have a good sniff, and you can smell the sea air. Sea air. It looks like there has been quite a few deaths in recent years, or all over history from boats around here is it because of the low coastline hmm. nice little statue there say mum baby waving goodbye I would gather to the uh, dad who is going uh, fishing or some expedition I'm not quite happy actually but it's what used to happen years ago, they used to say bye bye and some didn't come back. Joking apart, yes, some people didn't come back because of the treacherous seas out there. Things have changed a lot, but let's just say in the 19th century, the 18th century, it was a hazard being a fisherman. And some gentlemen, which were mostly gentlemen back then, didn't come back. Fleetwood Life Lighthouse. Not very big really compared to other British lighthouses. Don't need lighthouses no more. And this one, this is this is quite interesting. I wonder what this used to be. Oh if you look at the top, yeah, some radar. It hasn't been used in years. If you look, it's like some 60s design. these little beach huts now, there are nicer beach huts around the St Anne's you can hire beach huts about six or seven pounds a day but these are like the private beach huts but it's nice really if you can get one of these you can look at, at the front of the beach and the winds blowing in as you can feel it on the camera well this is summer people let me just tell you and where is everybody is this like the forgotten town got Mr Fleetwood that's what we were called back then he envisioned this to be like a hub from Scotland that everyone would come here from the boats up to the docks and stop round Fleetwood, especially the hotel to that <laughs> I can't get my words right <laughs> there's nobody here you know what the what is gone to come from the boats to stop here as a hub and then carry on the travels to London but it never happened because they built a railway through the Lake District which took Fleetwood off the map most people come here for the markets they come here for the museums and just a day out or just a quick look on this beach it's very quiet 
Está bien, eh, bien. Now, is this open? Can I get an ice cream? That man over there, he's working hard. Coat of arms. It's like some old clock tower at the top there. Look how, work, how hard he's working. Don't get me working that hard. I know what to do. There's an information place up there. Let's see if we can find some information. Hiya. You okay? Have I come on the wrong day? No, I said I've been um, coming round Fleetwood and most of things are shut. What sort of things? <laughs> um, do you know like the front and the shops are closed? And oh, right. I don't think the market's open on a Monday. That's open tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the shops, I thought they'd be open. Yeah. Tuesday to Saturday. Tuesday. I just think I picked the wrong day. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously the market. Yeah. It's Tuesday, and then I think it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe even. Well, yeah, obviously museums from Tuesday. Yeah. Um, but I've said one or two like gifty shops and things like that that perhaps only open towards the weekend. Right. Do you want the time? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep it. Okay. okay. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you again. Bye. I'll show you this. This is where Fleetwood Pier used to be. So Fleetwood Pier was one of the last of the golden era pier building. In 1910, it was one of the most shortest piers in the United Kingdom. I think only 400 and, 490 feet long, right down here. Very small at this time, but it was destroyed in 2006 by far like most pier, piers. But it was down for that for many years. Um, but you can still see, if you look here, still see the original patterns of the pier. Look at this, the golden era of pier building. And this is all what remains of it, pieces of slate. So there's absolutely nothing left of the once glorious pier. Just this flooring what's been this flooring that all remains of the pier sad to see enjoyed this little tour adventure around Fleetwood I say it is worth a day out if you're at Blackpool you like the hustle bustle of Blackpool and you want somewhere quiet to go this is the place to go 
Fleetwood and remember come on a Tuesday or a Thursday when things are open. I unfortunately came on a Monday and everything was quiet. It is different than Blackpool, I say the only downfit, not a lot of things open, you've got to pick the right day. The main reason why I come here is for this building, the Houston, North Houston building which is just behind me. We've had a look at the pier, what used to be a pier that's gone unfortunately. Usual fire damage, what you think cripples piers in its time. It's worth a day out, it's worth a trip. Jump on the tram from Blackpool, come and have a look, a few hours, and go back to the busyness. What do you think, Pigeon? <laughs> I've got no food, pal. See you next time, people.